me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan them. I thought the Broncos were rich. Harigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo? Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo, he was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? Want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. It's usually the good way in. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. Impressive. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. All right, guys. It was the question going. I kept on asking myself: How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. I'll bet you there's something in here.
Nothing. Stop giving me barren scenery. That's an odd way to dispose of the litter. Let's check it out. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. <laughs> yeah, there's some crazy stuff going on here. Where'd they go? You Bank can't killer. unsee something, but you can dull the effect. Ufe, was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. Don't write off coincidences. It's never a coincidence. Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. But probably not. Place is not very heavily secured. Oh yeah, not the most graceful of kills, but oh yeah, and that is how we do it. Whoa! I see you there. I can't get to you though. Trick the AI into doing something retarded. And there it is. Watch your gun. Thank you. Well, I should probably pick up this just for shits and giggles. I'm just gonna bolt in here. Wanna try me? Oh shit. That was not very graceful. Whoa! Alright. I knew there was gonna be someone there. I should have jumped. Oh, <laughs> it still worked. It's okay. There it is. We gotta stop running out into the heat of combat. Ooh, 
Whoa, buddy. Come on, I need you in the face. Surely I hit you in the face. I guess I didn't. You gonna come to me or am I gonna have to come to you? I hear him. Let's get some ammo before we proceed. Here we go. Taking cover! Nice. I see you there. Clip the side of his head. Oh yeah! A thousand kills. I need to move up some. for the face! Whoa! Here was the other way. <laughs> they still didn't hit me. Pretty painful. Alright, let's scavenge. Here. Pazos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? Oh, that was close. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. That was real close. I'm gonna take a shotgun. Ah, painkillers. Yes. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. Well, that's not doing anything. What just happened? Oh, okay. Why, thank you. Be careful. I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos. But I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Thank you, checkpoint. 
Gun piece. Ufe. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Go! Go! Wait! I said get! Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. That's a pretty simple solution. I'm just gonna take this conveniently placed weapon 